Literary Crate has released this magical subscription box, and it's all to do with a certain magical alley. So let's get on with the unboxing. Hi everyone, it's Rodney here, and Literary Crate has sent this box over to me for free to showcase to you. And I'm very excited. But can we first talk about how amazingly designed the outside of the box is? Look, look at this fantastic artwork. Hopefully you can all see it. Now, we all know this particular magical alley. And it is marvellous. And I can always say that I wanted to... Which way is this way? Nocturne Alley. So I did it upside down. <laughs> Beautiful illustrations. So let's get on with a little sneak peek before we begin the unboxing. Okay, let's see. So there's some padding in here to keep everything safe. So what is going to be in here? So the item on the top is this, I can see, a magical menagerie box. It says, congratulations on your new pet. Take care of it and keep a close eye on it at all times. Magical menagerie is not responsible for any cases of an imagine. Magical Menagerie, the best pet shop in Diagon Alley. Oh cute, it's a little a plushy toad it looks like. Okay, let's get it out and hopefully I can get this without damaging the box because we love our packaging that looks so professional. I don't want to damage that. How cute is that? It looks so funny, it's this little squishy toad. That's so cute. So small. Oh bliss. I'll put it back in this crate so it doesn't escape. <laughs> Next item on top I can see is a pin badge. I'll quickly get it out of its crinkly packaging. It doesn't make too much noise. It's a literary crate exclusive and it is a Diagon Alley and Nocturne Alley pin badges. This is very cute and very subtle. You could totally wear this and just have two clasps at the back with these cool rubber stoppers. So you could totally wear this and it'd be very subtle, magical merchandise that you could wear and not everyone would get it, but certainly the wizards and witches that see you wearing this will totally get what it is. I love this, this is so cute. Next item that caught my eye is this green little pouch. I'm very intrigued what's inside here. So it feels metal, it feels like a coin. And it is, it says Alohomora, Unlucking Charm, the thief's friend. And look, it even has the spell movement on. So it is a swish and a down. Very cool. That's very pretty. Very solid. That's great. Now there's a few more magical shops along this magical alley, so we can certainly have a look. And I see this literary crate exclusive. Florian Fortescue's ice cream inspired flavors, chocolate, raspberry, it's tea! Oh, cute! Little, little tea bags. They're even in a little triangle. Mmm, <sighs> they smell very nice. Chocolate raspberry. They do smell like chocolate. And I can smell raspberry. That's so cute. So chocolate raspberry tea bags in an ice cream tin. So ice cream inspired flavors. I see. Very, very clever. That's so cute. I see we've got the little, little leg on the top. This is a cute little box. I'm loving the design on all of these so far. Ilops Al Emporium, 522nd North Diagon. What could this be? I have no idea. I really don't want to damage any of this packaging because it's all so pretty. What is this? Okay, I see a, a wheel. Okay, so I've got a, I don't know what this is, and a, a magical golden wheel? And then, like, beautiful little owls in metal. I don't know what this is. It's very beautiful. Goodness, I don't know how I'm going to show this on camera without it reflecting dreadfully. There we are. Can you see? It's like etched on. And these 
actual owls are cute. I'm guessing you hang the owls on this metal to, oh, okay. And does this go on top of here somehow? Spinning owls. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at the cheat sheet because I don't know what this is. But I'm very intrigued. It looks like some sort of contraption that goes with the wind somehow? Okay, excuse my ignorance. I don't know what this is, but I'm very excited to find out. <laughs> so stay tuned to the end. Okay, so next is this box. Madame Pimpinel's Plume et Bloom Perfume. Beautiful floral scent that's light as a feather. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. I'm guessing it's a perfume. Is there perfume in it? Oh, it looks like... Okay, so I managed to get the glass lid out and it's this beautiful little perfume bottle that's made of glass. Very delicate. Wow, such interesting. I'm loving all this delicate items in this box. So clever. Wow. There's another big box in this one, and I'll save that for last because it does look very exciting. I see another pin badge in here, which I'll quickly just get rid of the crinkly packaging to make as not to make too much noise. And it is this Wheezy's Wizard Wheezy's staff badge. This is so pretty, and it has a pin at the back. So as if I was going to be working at Wheezy's Wizard Wheezy's, which I totally would, because how much fun would that be? This is a beautiful badge that I would wear if I was working there. So this next item is very cute and I believe it's probably a bookmark and it, as if it was a photo booth and in this magical alley featuring Harry and Hagrid. Very cute. And this is artwork by Sarah Conradson. Very cute indeed. They do such lovely bookmarks, Lit Joy. And there's also a little postcard in here of the entire artwork that looks by the same illustrator that created the outside of this box. And there's a few familiar wizards that you can see amongst this. A fabulous illustration. Goodness, some people are really talented. I can never draw anything like this. I've kept this all waiting long enough, but it features a beautiful box, which as we can see, it says Ollivander's on. In beautiful gold, makers of fine ones since 382 BC. Goodness, well, you know I love me some ones. Let's open that up and see what that looks like. Ooh. Okay, it's got some nice foam on here to protect it. Ooh, that's a cute little wand. Look at that. It feels very solid. Could this be real wood? It's got a beautiful jam on the end. I like that. Very cute little wand. I didn't expect to get a wand in a box. That's such good quality. Wow, this has certainly been an amazing box. There's also, okay, I see. There's actually instructions. <laughs> because they probably put this in for people like me that didn't know what this was. So it looks like you put the fan on uh, okay, and you hang the owls on. Oh, and a candle. Okay, so the candle heat makes it spin. <laughs> Thank you for the added instructions for silly billies like me. <laughs> there is also a card at the bottom here, which I imagine is the cheat sheet. And wow, got some really cool artwork in here. Look at that. Was it just the post? So the, the cheat sheet is also a poster of this particular magical alley. So that's it for this magical subscription, Litro Crate Unboxing. My goodness, there's been some amazing items in this box. Like, can you believe? I don't know if I can even choose a favorite. It's gonna have to be a combination of a few. I'd probably say between the Ilobs El Emporium candle holder, just because look at this packaging, it's so beautiful. And then this is just the base. And look how beautiful that is. It's almost blinding. It's so shiny. I can't wait to try that with a candle. So that's very exciting. I do also like the pin badges because they're very subtle but very magical at the same time. Love these. And then I couldn't actually believe that you would get a wand in a box like this with such a beautiful box. 
and I love one boxes, I'm sure you've seen. And that such a nice wand would be inside as well. It's very, a very cute wand. I know my wands. This isn't a character wand, but it's a great unique wand indeed with like a gem. Fantastic. Now, if you want to get your hands on one of these magical subscription boxes, then be sure to go to litjoycrate.com because there's a new box that's actually been launched today, which is the Borrow Box. So if you're really interested to get that, then I would certainly go and visit their site. If you have enjoyed this video, then please do me a favor and click the subscribe button and then turn on notifications so that each and every week, when there's a new video, you'll be notified. Be sure to leave this video a like, and if you have any comments, leave them down below. I'd love to hear what your favorite item is. And with that, the Wizarding World is just one spell away.